Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. James here from dragonblogger.com. Today I have a little walkthrough of the Hillary HVMS 763 RGB programmable gaming mouse software. This will be how to install and how to use the software for the RGB lighting and the macros and the, you know, setting your uh, keys or buttons on your mouse to what, do what you want it to do. So first you're going to want to go up to hillary.net slash downloads. I will have this link in the bottom of the video for you guys later. Copy and paste it. Go to Google Chrome if that's what you guys use. That's what I use. You know, copy, paste. Let's see if it will paste it. It does paste it. Now we're going to want to roll down this download screen as you can see it popped up. We're going to find the right one. It is going to be the Hillary MS763 um, gaming mouse. I'm sorry if everything just went blue, but it's right here. We're going to click download. It's going to pop over. We're going to click this and I'm just going to download it instead of opening zip files and through the, their stuff. Now actually it's going to make me open a zip file so I'm going to extract all. You know it's going to ask you where to go. Now we're just going to go up and double click it. We're going to run the software. It's uh, putting us in protect mode probably because it's not either not signed or yeah it's publishers unknown. So it's not signed for some reason. Not really sure. I believe that's what it means it's not signed. It could be just, you know, really low run. We're going to run anyways. It pops up again. Run all. Now I'm going to drop this down, drop this down. Close all this out for you guys. We'll just go to this screen. Not sure what happened just now. Here we go. Now a setup popped up. We're going to click next. It's going to ask you where you want to install it. And then it's going to show the name. We're going to read next and install. We're going to click finish. And now that's up. Now that it's up, you get the glyphs of, uh, you know, just the gist of what this little thing is. It's not really a big screen. You can't resize it. So not a big deal. You can click, you know, like your left mouse button. You can change it to do whatever you want. Three clicks, multimedia, you know, you know DPI or macro. You can set up your own macros. DPI's right here you can adjust them you can change them now we'll go over to sensitivity DPI is your sensitivity you can change it it has levels you can see the colors you know you know close DPI indicator that means shutting it off we're not gonna mess with this the DPI is fine for me okay we're gonna show you guys how to adjust the color settings and make a profile we're gonna click this add profile we're gonna name it killer J and from there we were gonna you know change the color schemes I want to try just a steady color right now now this is just the one color for some reason you can't adjust the red I'm not sure you know double click we can speed it adjust the brightness it's right here click apply now in the corner you'll be seeing this adjusting as it's going as you can see, that is just a steady red color right now. Pretty cool. We can go do a color screen, uh, streaming. You know, we'll pick a speed, direction, and apply. Now you guys can see that is moving and adjusting. That's pretty cool too. We'll try a breathing effect. We're going to, you know, take out the red maybe this time and the, the pink and the purple we're gonna adjust it up a little hit apply and hopefully you guys can see this as it changes colors and that is adjusting the colors for a breathing effect you know we can actually hit it up faster hit apply again this should change it even faster so that will be changing it with the breathing effect let's try a tail We'll go a little faster, click apply. As you can see, it streams back and forth rather fast. We can slow it down some. We're going to hit slow, and that is the slow. There's only slow and medium for this, unfortunately. 
Let's try neon and click that. This is your neon effect. You know, pretty simple. Let's do a color stream or a color study. We're going to take out the red. I guess we can't. We can adjust the colors. So if we really want, we can go with a, you know, a grays, you know. Let's do a yellowish color. Let's get rid of that. Let's make it a black. And let's apply. As you can see, there's your color setting. Black really isn't nothing, so that color has disappeared. Now we can restore that back to what we want. You know, click apply, and then it's back to working. Now we'll do a flicker. This is double red to blue. We'll just apply this right now. There's the flicker. It looks like a cop car. You know, right about now, don't pull up behind me because I am a little nervous. <laughs> We can double click this, we can change it to a green, and apply, and now it's not really, to me that's not really a green green. Let's try this green. That's more of a green. Let's do, uh, let's do a blue, blue on blue, and click apply. Now it's just flashing straight blue. We can do a pink, hit apply, and that, that's pretty much that. You know, we're going to hit restore. Let's do a re response. Let's click a random colors. Let's do a fast and let's hit apply. Let's see what it does. Random color, it is straight black. It's not even on. Isn't that pretty cool? Let's hit apply, same thing. We'll take that off and now hit apply. It is not doing anything for some reason, but I guess we have to touch it. Didn't even think about that for a response. So we can do a random color, we can do it fast, we can hit apply. And as you can see, it just changes colors as you do in the mouse. Pretty cool. Streaming, you know, I think I did a little streaming, not sure. They're, they're streaming pretty much just to, you know, effect, color effect, you know. Not too too cool, but not, not, not a lot. Let's do a little wave. Let's slow the wave down. Here's the wave. It is just, you know, as you can see, it changing slowly. We'll adjust it up all the way fast. There's fast. And trailing. We already did, I believe we did trailing. There's trailing, pretty much that. Or you can turn it completely off, and the lights are off. So that is changing the colors and adjusting it. Now over here we have parameters. You know, you can adjust your uh, mouse sensitivities, scrolling speeds, double click speeds, you know, 100 hertz rate, you know, or 1000 hertz, all the way down to 125 hertz. We're not really going to bother it. We're going to delete my profile too because I don't really need the profile right now. You know, sensitivities, buttons. Now, if you want to do macros, you have to do, you know, start a record, you know, and set it up. I don't use macros, so it's not something I can do. I, I, I do a lot, but pretty much, you know, you, you, you please select your first macro set, you know. We'll just do up, up, side, side, down, down. We'll type in the macros, killer J. So I guess that's how you do it, I apologize. Now we're gonna hit start screen. You know, up, up, side, side, down, down, whatever, and then save. So that, that's pretty much a macro, and then you can go over here, I forgot to press stop record, and save, go over here, we'll click um, the back button, and you can click the macro, click killer J, and hit enter. 
So that is the where the macros, and so that would be on five. I'd be on the side button, you know, and that's usually a different button, pretty much. That's that. We're gonna hit restore, but that's doing macros. So the macros is pretty simple. We're gonna delete this. Don't really need that. Cycle unit until the key is released. Cycle unit until the key is passed. You know, specific cycle times. You can set it up to do it however fast you want, or if you want it to slow down. You know, pretty simple. But that is the software walkthrough for the Hillary HVMS 763 Pro RGB programmable gaming mouse. And I uh, thank you for checking that out. Now keep your eyes out for the written review on DragonBlogger.com to come. And thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.